What's up, you guys? My name is Sarah Ote. Welcome back to Level Up. We have a core burner for you today. You can tack this onto the end of your workout or warm up with it. You need one dumbbell, but if you don't have a dumbbell, don't worry about it. We're gonna go for an overhead sit up, seated on the floor. If you have that dumbbell, go ahead and grab it to your chest. You're gonna take it up overhead. Belly button into spine, round down slow, pressing the dumbbell through the ceiling. You're gonna pause halfway, all the way down, and then big sit up to the top. If you don't have the dumbbell, you can just raise your arms up towards the sky right by your ears. Pause halfway down, all the way down. Inhale to sit it up nice and tall. Exhale, belly button into spine. So we're gonna go through this series of six exercises two times. This is just to warm up the spine, warm up the shoulders. Exhale, belly button into spine, roll down slow, pause halfway, all the way down, big sit up. If you are having trouble, if the shoulder is feeling a bit pinched, you can always bring that weight down to your chest at the bottom, sit up and then press the weight overhead to go back down. Three more, inhale to sit up nice and tall. Exhale, make sure you get that good pause, low back on the ground. All the way down, big push up to the ceiling. Exhale, roll down slow. Last rep, pause halfway, all the way down. And now I want you to bring your knees up over your hips. If you can, kick your heels straight up to the ceiling. Otherwise, you can just stay right in that tabletop and you're gonna give me a crunch. Little crunches up to the ceiling. You have five, four, we're gonna hold it at the top in three, two, hold it all the way up, press the belly button down into the low back, extend your right leg out, and then switch. If you wanna make this a bit harder, you're gonna go into your full hollow hold, both legs extend, and you can even try to rock it right here. Those abs are already lit up. We're going right up to a V set. You're gonna balance on your tailbone in three, in two, in one. Set it all the way up, find your balance, and then you're taking a rotation to the left, up and over to the right. Basic Russian twist. If you need to, you can always place your feet on the ground. Just make sure you're leaning back, rotating your shoulders side to side. Let's pick it up. You have five more, five. Three, the last two, and one last one. Oh, it is a burner today, you guys. I don't know that I was fully prepped for this. It's gonna take me a second to get into it. Roll around, we're gonna go for a mountain climber. Stack your shoulders over your fingertips, knee to your chest, and then we switch. We have 10 reps total. Pick it up for the last five. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your knees down to the mat. One final drill here. It's an isometric press up. So hands are gonna go beside your legs. Uh, your feet are tucked under underneath of you. Press into the ground to lift the knees up. And then you wanna test lifting a toe. Maybe you lift both toes. Hold for three, two, and lower back down. My abs are on fire. Here we go, press up and hold. Knees to chest. You have three, two, one. Release back down. One last rep and then we're gonna stretch it out. Here we go, press up and hold, squeeze. This compression strength right here. Squeeze the pelvic floor up and in. You have three, two, one. Release, Whew. if you need, you can take a little cat cow or just take a stretch for the belly and then we're gonna get back into it. Overhead sit up. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here without the weight, just in case you don't have it. Interlace your thumbs together and then roll down slow, all the way down, big sit up to the top. So think of keeping your biceps back behind your ears and that's gonna make it a little bit harder, weighted a little bit more, just in case you don't have access to that dumbbell. Exhale, roll down, arms behind the ears. Inhale to sit it up. Nice, okay. Five more reps. 
10 of each of these drills. We're just gonna flow through it. Bring your attention on your breath and nothing else. Anything else you're thinking about, just let it go. One last rep. Kick those feet straight up to the ceiling and you're gonna go for toe taps if you can. If the hammies are super tight, no worries. You can just bend your knees a little bit more. You have six, five, four, three. You're gonna hold it up, lock it up in two, one. Hold it up, shoulder blades off the mat. Press the low back down, extend your right leg down and then switch, switch. All right guys, if you want to level up, we're gonna make this a bit harder. Both legs come down into that hollow hold. Arms back by the ears. Keep it up for five, maybe you rock for four. We're going right up to our V sit in three. You got it, two and one. Sit it all the way up, Russian twist, left to right, 10 times. Squeeze your knees together, squeeze your inner thighs together. They're part of your core two and pick it up for four. Ooh, for three, two, one. Beautiful job. Swing around. We got those mountain climbers coming up, but this time we're going to cross them. Right, left, right, left. In three, two, one. Let's hit it. Fast and quick right here. Belly button up and in. Shoot that back leg back. You have four, three, two, and one. Take a break. All right, guys, last drill. We're gonna do 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off to finish it out. So it's that isometric press. Here we go, in three, two, one. Press it up and hold. Good, breathe. Keep drawing the knees up and into your chest. Ah, oh, this move is killer. Isn't it crazy how the ones that you're holding are the hardest? Almost there, you have five, you have four, three, two, and release down. Beautiful job. Swing around. You have another compression drill here. Hands are right by your knees. You're gonna try to press and lift up and hold, okay? Here we go, 20 seconds on in three, two, one, press up and hold. Good, so if you have tight hamstrings, knees are gonna be a little bent, but I want you to think about using your quads to extend through the toes as much as possible. You're almost there, you have five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys, stretch it out. We have one more round of each of those, and then you're out of here. I know these are rough, it's pretty tough. We're leveling up for sure. Here we go, press up in three, two, one. 20 seconds on. If you're into handstands, this is a good drill that'll help you get there. Good, keep breathing into it. Lean into it, you have five, four, three, two, one. One last drill. Give it your all. These isometric drills, you can always make them harder by leaning into them a bit more. Here we go, final 20 seconds. In three, two, one. Plug your fingers into the ground, lift up and hold. You can add a little pulse at the top. And if you're giving it your all, you should be shaking. You got it, keep it up for 10. We're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. I mean, that was all you needed, 10 minutes core workout. We are done. Let me know how that went for you guys. I can't wait to hear, and I'll see you back here next time on another Level Up Workout.